Two months after a deadly shooting in Loxley, a family is still waiting for justice. Tamika Richardson died from a single gunshot wound back on May 5th. Police say there was an argument earlier in the day over property lines that escalated into the night, ending with gunfire. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is live in the Loxley Heights neighborhood. And Debbie, you spoke with her family today. Yeah, you know, so they say that they know who shot and killed Tamika and that police do too. Their frustration is that nothing seems to be being done about it, but police say they are working on this case and they're very close to charging someone with her murder. Almost everywhere you look in the Loxley Heights community, there's a reminder of someone who's no longer here. Tamika had a big heart. She will do and give her last to anybody. Tamika Richardson, meek as she was known to all who loved her, her image on t-shirts and a banner in memory of what a family, a community, lost. A gift from heaven that God sent down to help everybody because that's what she did. There is also a grim reminder, a small wooden bench covered in flowers. This is where my sister collapsed and took her last breath yeah, May 5th, a night of confusion, chaos, and gunfire. One person wounded and Richardson killed. What they stole from us was something precious. Two months after that awful night, family members are still waiting for someone to be charged with her death. If they would do at least charge, do a charge, and we will all get some peace. At least some rest until court and let the court do their job. Early on, investigators identified 52-year-old Chandra Davis as the prime suspect. She is in jail on assault charges, but not for killing Richardson yet. We're going to pursue a, a charge of murder. Building that case takes time, according to Loxley Police Investigator Zach Kuyken. We want to be patient. We want to be thorough with this case. We don't want to rush anything because, you know, if this case goes to trial and a defendant's acquitted. You don't get a second chance, so we want to make sure it's done right. We've been peaceful, waiting peaceful. We're still peaceful, but our patients are running very thin. We want those charges to update to murder. Murder, that's what we need. Until that happens, they gather here, remembering with one simple request. Just Now, this case was originally investigated and taken over by the Major Crimes Task Force in the county. It has recently gone back to Loxley Police. Now, they say that they are waiting on forensic tests to come back as well as digital evidence before making that charge of murder. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Loxley, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.